What is going on guys? Pixcam20 back again with a brand new video. We are here for the Nations Cup at the Red Bull Ring as we are starting in our Toyota TS050 Hybrid for the uh, Group 1 race that is taking place here at Red Bull Ring. Now when coming to the race we are given three uh, tire compounds as we are given the softs, the mediums and the hards but the required compounds that we have to use are the mediums and the hards. So uh, it's going to be up to us whether we want to jump onto the softs or just stay on the mediums and the hards throughout the race. And uh, I'll explain to you my strategy um, later on into the video. So when coming to this video, we are uh, ranked with a lot of S players and A players as we did do one race before this. But uh, I failed miserably on that one as I actually got a really bad finish on that race. So uh, um, I'm hoping to at least finish in a good spot, maybe top five on this race. Uh, as we are finishing our warm-up now and we head into qualifying now before we jump into qualifying if you guys haven't yet we're trying to reach a thousand subscribers before the end of the year we're already at 900 so thank you guys very much for that if um, you guys want to keep this going again subscribe to the channel if you like the content and leave a like on the video as it really helps out the channel so coming into qualifying here we're coming towards the final two corners as we are finishing our first flyer lap and we're right behind this skittles looking car i don't know it reminds me of skittles as we come down the straightaway we get a 117.3, not too shabby for our first flyer lap as we're going to go for a second round here, try to get a better time as we come into turn number one. Coming to the final corners again, let's see if we can better our time here as we're coming down the straightaway now leading us into the start finish line. We get a 117.1 and we basically used up all our uh, rubber on the soft tires so we kind of just leave it as that and we actually cross the start finish line and get demoted all the way to 11th as that 117.1 wasn't fast enough to get us into the top 10 and uh, jumping more into the end of qualifying there's still some few cars that still have to finish and officially we get a 12th place position as you see we get the qualifying complete sign up on our screen so it's going to be a ton of work for us to try to get a good finishing position here as we're going to be starting in 12th place as we jump up into the warm-up right before the race. So uh, before we jump into the race, let's see how much points we're fighting for. We're actually going to be fighting for 212 points if we get first place. And that should help us out a little bit if we are able to win this race. But not counting on that, as this track is very, very dependent on the slipstream, stream. And uh, we just have to make sure that we do not make any mistakes and that we are able to... Uh, perform our strategy correctly without any hiccups so uh jumping into the intro now of the nation's cup uh the strategy here is going to be to for at least us what we're going to try running is going to be starting on the softs run on the softs for about nine to ten laps depending on if we're behind traffic or not or depending on what the other cars are doing then from the softs we're going to switch off to the mediums around nine or ten uh, lap nine or ten and then from lap nine or ten all the way up until lap number 19 we're going to stay on the mediums and this transitions into the hard and then that should be able to um, give us the best chance for finishing in a good position as we are coming to the beginning of the race so uh, coming to the beginning of the race now we're coming down the start finish line and you can see we are starting in 12th places we kind of have a gap going into uh, turn number one right behind 11th place going into uh, turn number one you see 11th place gets very very loose and actually goes out but he actually uses alien technology and He's lagging now as he goes right inside of us, gets right ahead of us as we're heading into turn number two now. Going to turn number two, we break very, very late. We actually miss our braking zone, make contact with the green car there. As we go out to the outside, we actually don't lose a position as we are stuck back in 11th place. So you can see coming to the replay here, we almost run into the 11th place car there as we move all the way out of the way. And this is what happened right in front of us. As you can see, a car just hits the two green cars there and that just hit, uh, makes a domino effect there as you can see he ends up taking out three cars and we're able to uh, get back up into 10th place as you can see the car right ahead of us had a surface penalty as we're heading into turn number three now so coming to turn number three see there's a car out wide there as we're able to make the overtake now he made a mistake so now we're able to make up three positions in the span of half a lap as we did start on 12th place and now we're promoted all the way up into 9th as we head into the middle sector now so coming to the middle sector now we're heading into this left and right hander here. We're right behind eighth place. So we're going to try to clip the apexes as best as we can as we come into the final two corners now. See that we're getting a little bit of a gap between us and eighth place. So we're going to have to try to uh, close that up as we come down into the straightaway now. Coming to the final corner. Try to get it as best as we can. Shift down to third gear. Try to get a great exit. 
And we're able to do so as we uh, fast forward here down the straightaway, leading us into turn number one on lap number two. We're still right behind eighth place there as we come out of the corner very, very well. And now we're in the slipstream of him as he's actually in the slipstream ahead of, uh, of the car ahead of him. So we're in the slipstream galore here as we're heading into turn number two now. Try to break as late as we can as we head into turn number two. But we uh, try to make a look onto the inside, but we're a little too far back to make any type of move. So we stay right behind eighth place as we head down the long straightaway, leading us into turn number three. So coming to turn number three, trying to make a move onto the inside of eighth place. But we're still a little too far back there as we're trying to get a good exit here and try to get a good corner entrance as we come into turn number four and five. Coming into turn number four now, we're onto the inside still as we're gonna get a wide entrance here, coming into turn number five and six. Heading down to the left-hander and the right-hander here. We're still right behind eighth place here. So we get a really good run now. We get into the slip stream, move on to the inside. Is eighth place gonna give us a position? He does so, he backs out of the move there and we're able to make the overtake there. So he's trying to make a move on to the outside here, coming to the final corner. But we're able to block him there as we come down the straightaway, leading us into turn number three, or lap number three, into turn number one. So coming into turn number one, we're right behind seventh place car, the car that was actually lagging in the beginning of the race. And we're able to make the overtake on him. And at this point, I was just a little bit worried to see if he was going to lag again and go right ahead of us. But it looks like the move was pretty real as we are heading into turn number two. Now you see the two cars ahead of us actually made contact. Not sure what that is about, but we're able to go into the inside, avoid them, and we're able to push ourselves into fifth place as uh, we are able to go from 12th place all the way up to fifth place in a span of three laps. So not too shabby here as we set our sights now on fourth place. But uh, before we go into that, as we look into the replay here, let's see what happened between the two cars ahead of us. It just looks like sixth place got very, very loose coming out of there, makes contact with the sky blue car. And there we go, making uh, our move past them. So we avoided both of them and are able to push our way up into position number five. So coming into lap number seven now, we're up into fourth position as I believe one of the cars ahead of us had to come into the pits. And you can see right there that fifth place is starting to catch up to us as he's only four tenths of a second behind us. So we're trying to run away from him, but you can see he's catching up to us as we are coming down the straightaway, leading us into turn number two. He's in the slip stream of us and you can see on the radar, he was peaking a little bit there, but a little too far back to make the move there as we come out of turn number two and uh, jumping into lap number eight. So coming to lap number eight, we're going back into turn number two and you can see right ahead of us that there's a, the, the car right ahead of us has a penalty. So that's gonna help us out as though if we get past him, we could get our way into a podium here and something that I was not expecting to be fighting for here, especially since we started all the way back in 12th place as we fast forward here into the second sector. Coming out of the second sector, now we're heading into the final two corners. And you can see the, the, the fifth place car is still right behind us as we come into the final corner now. Heading down the straightaway, we're starting to catch up again to third place as uh, you can see the gap is starting to close now. So he was at three seconds last lap. Now we're at 2.2 uh, two seconds here as we come into the first corner now. Coming to the first corner now on lap number nine, we're still trying to gain time on the Canadian right ahead of us. As you can see, he gets another penalty there, half a second there as we come into the second corner. We get a ton of time going to the second corner. As he's gonna have to serve his penalty here, going into the penalty zone. Are we gonna be able to make an overtake here as we're catching up to him pretty quickly, heading into the third corner? Break right before the 100 meter board, but we're not close enough to make the move, but we do get onto his back bumper, so if we can stay right behind him and try to force him into a mistake, we can probably gain uh, the podium here. As you can see, there's uh, fifth place is still right behind us, so he's very close to us if me and third place start fighting as we come into this left-hander here. Look onto the inside, but we're a little too far back to make any type of move. But we make contact with him there as we go into the left-hander. Now heading into the right-hander. We're going side by side as we come down the straightaway, leading us into the final two corners. We're on the outside of third place. Is he going to give us a space there? He does as we're going to try to make a cut back there. But you see fifth place just makes a daring move. Overtakes both of us. Very, very brilliant from him as we come into the final corner now. And we get promoted into second place as the top two cards had to make their pit stop there. We missed our chance to make the pit stop there as we got just blindsided by fifth place, but we're gonna try to make the move on fourth place here as we come into the first corner. As we go right behind him into the slip stream, we're gonna try to make a move onto the inside, but we cut back to the outside. And we're gonna go side by side as we head into turn number two for the podium here. We break as late as we can, and we're able to make the overtake here as we are now promoted into third place as we follow now right behind the American going down the straightaway, leading us into turn number three. So. 
Now on this lap, it's lap number 10 as we're gonna fast forward here. We have to make the pit stop here as I, like I said, if we're gonna start on the softs, head into lap number nine or 10, whichever one we can get onto and uh, switch from the softs to the mediums. As we're gonna jump into the pits here, second place comes into the pits also. And I believe the Canadian right behind us is gonna follow us too as we uh, jump up to the pits now. We're gonna switch from the softs to the mediums. Come out of there and we are coming now in eighth place as we are now on the mediums here or actually never mind we jump out in fifth place it took a little bit of time for us to uh, see what position we're gonna come out in when we finish the pit stop but we are in fifth place now you see we lost, we lost a ton of time on fourth place as we see there's a yellow flag right ahead of us coming to the second corner now we clip our apex and you can see it's the leader that spun out so the leader is out and about not sure what happened there as we uh, go to the replay here you can see the leader just Clips the apex, gets too early on the accelerator, and he loses the back end there, spins, hits the wall, and it's just taking forever to get him back onto the track. Finally gets it turned around, gets onto the track, but it's too late for him. As you can see, we make the overtake there, and now we are promoted into fourth place as we set our sights on the top three now as we head into turn number three. So coming to turn number three, we actually miss our apex there as the tires are still a little too cold. And we're going to try to get as much uh, warmth as we can into them as we jump up into lap number 17. So from lap number 11 to 17, nothing really happened as we are promoted into third place because uh, one of the cars had to go into the pit stop. So we're in the podium now. So we still have to serve our very last penalty as we are still on the medium tires. And you're going to have to switch off to the other required tire, which is the hards, as we come into turn number one. So coming to turn number one, going down the straightaway here. You can see there's a car right behind us and he's in the slip stream now as he's below the 1.5 second mark but he's got to serve a penalty so that should help us out a little bit as we come down into turn number two break as late as we can as we're starting to lose grip now because of these tires are very very worn coming down the straightaway now heading past the penalty zone I believe the car behind us has to serve the penalty so we're able to gain a ton of time on him as we come into turn number three coming to turn number three we clip our apex and we're able to lose fourth place as you can see now we have built a two second lead on fourth place as we are uh, going into lap number 19 here coming out of the final corner or the the right hander that's going to lead us into the final corners coming to the final corners now we're going to have to serve our our last pit stop here as you see first place is serving his pit stop jumping from the softs well he's going to jump into the hearts as we're going to come from the mediums to the hearts here as you can see we're transitioning now we put on the hearts no fuel as we uh, are able to fuel safe here and we were uh, we didn't really need to uh, put any new fuel in here as we come out of the pits now where are we gonna come out we come out still in third place but you can see the Canadian right behind us is right behind us now as he's getting a good slipstream as we come down the straightaway leading us into turn number two coming to turn number two we're going side by side and he just has too much momentum for us as he's gonna overtake us on the straightaway but we try to get a look on him we're going on to the inside here as he goes very very wide goes onto the grass and we get into the slip stream of the Canadian we move on to the outside so we're gonna go side by side heading into turn number three we're on the outside here as we come into turn number three break as late as we can and we make the cut back on third place as he actually overdrives the corner and we're gonna actually get to be able to pull away from him here as I believe he's got worn tires in us as we try to break as late as we can heading into this left hander here coming to the left hander here as we're finishing up our second sector on the final lap we try to get into these left and right handers as clean as possible clip the apexes as best as we can as we're starting to pull away from fourth place now as we come into the final two corners past the penalty zone there as we're heading to the final two corners we break as late as we can right before the 50 meter board as we're going to try to clip our apexes this here clip our final apex as we are coming out of the final corner heading down the straight for the final time move on to the inside and we're able to secure third place very very proud of us as we were able to jump up from 12th place all the way to third place in this race it's it's a very very difficult track to overtake but we we're able to make the impossible happen and we finish in the podium so really really good point stay for us as uh you can see we were only six seconds behind second and first so maybe if we weren't fighting we could have probably caught up to them but i mean i'll still take the third place so as we started in 12th place we avoided all the drama all the incidents just try to keep mistake free of this entire race clipped our strategy as best as we can and this was the result with 194 points. So very, very proud of the race again. And uh, if you guys really enjoy the content, please subscribe to the channel. Leave a like on the video as it really helps out the channel. And uh, if you guys really enjoyed it again, I hope to see you guys on the next one. Peace out.